Okay, guys. It all comes down to this. It's been 11 months. <sighs> yeah, we took a long break. But, got the engine swap. We're finally back where I was over a year ago, ready to try turning the engine over. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm really hoping this just works perfectly. It's the first time I've tried it. And I really just want it to just work and there be no issues. So I'm really hoping that happens. Let's try it. Hey guys, you're watching another episode of Private Garage. We're building the Turbo Pinto. And I know you wanna know if it started or not. I can tell you it didn't go perfect. And uh, there's a story. You're about to see it. But I really appreciate you guys watching. If you wanna see more turboing of Pintos, Please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. This was a huge day, guys. Really huge. Hope you enjoy. Let's try it. Main power's on. Starter relay's hooked up. Wow! Aha! I felt it move. It worked. Alright, well, I can't complain about that. At least something's happening, right? Is our relay hot? Nope. Starter cable? Nope. Everything seems happy. I think we're happy. Oh my god, you guys. I was literally just sitting in here. I just turned the engine on. I'm super excited. And all of a sudden I can smell fire. And I'm like, oh no! Like, flip the kill switch out. And I'm just like... Oh crap, looking all over the car like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And literally, my neighbors started a fire at the exact moment I turned the car on for the first time. And I was just like, well that's good, it's good. But it's just like, it freaks you out, all of a sudden you start smelling burning stuff, like right when you start it. But anyways, this is a good day. It's a good day. It's been over a year trying to get back to this point. You got a kid, you got a wife that needs it, you got a property that needs work, you're doing other stuff, you're trying to start a business, you're working your day job, you're doing all the different things. You finally get caught up so pretty pumped also i really got to learn to look at the camera the camera's here but the screen is there it really throws me off anyway thanks for watching guys appreciate it hey guys so thanks for watching that was just like absolutely the best thing that happened this entire project half after like what's it been like three years of work to see that engine turnover it was just absolutely amazing so I really appreciate that people are watching. I'm just about at 60 subscribers right now. Uh, I feel like we're creeping on up to 100. So if you're interested in seeing more about how I'm turboing this car and getting it running and fuel lines, we're making a custom drift car here, guys. So it's gonna be a crazy ride and uh, a lot of fun, a lot of learn things to learn. And uh, anyways, that's the episode. So please like and subscribe, leave me a comment and uh, we'll see you in the next one. What's up y'all? I was just winterizing the Pinto for the winter here, you know, taking the battery out, getting her all tucked away nice and cozy, and I forgot to take the intake bag off and turned it over, and I thought I just like blew something. I can't believe how loud a noise it made. It sucked the bag in and went pop. Thankfully there's no bag in there, it's all still here, it just ripped holes. But uh, man, the sound that made was super loud. I thought it like, you know, the timing was out or something and I wrecked the valves, so anyway, don't do that. Alright guys, I'm about to show you why electricity doesn't work. See, you have an electric car or any kind of electrical thing. And what you do is it's all environmental, it's so good. Yeah, oh yeah, super good. You run this big long power system network to your clean, environmentally friendly situation. That doesn't seem very, very uh, clean to me. Science.